The All Progressive Grand Alliance may not be able to partake in the forthcoming gubernatorial election in Anambara State. This development comes on the heels of the decision by the Independent National Electoral Commission that a faction of the party led by Victor Oye failed to notify it of its plan to hold world congresses ahead of the governorship poll within the 21 days recommended by its regulations and Section 85 of the Electoral Act. INEC has communicated its position on the matter to the faction in two separate letters. Some of us who have always advocated for, uh, for a change in the party have now been vindicated. When the neck of the party of Abda sat and said that the OA needed to go and the uh, resident job needed to go, of course these are the reasons. When we when Abda, when OA submitted the list of uh, uh, the necessary documents for the election, why did OA refuse to submit delegate list? This is a plot, and I repeat, this is a plot by uh, by Oye to ensure that Abga does not feature, uh, 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 have any candidates in this election. How on earth will you say your your, your submitted document and the most important list, the most important document, which is supposed to be the the uh, the, the, the letter informing Ainek, duly informing Ainek about a delegate congress, was not submitted. The two letters by INEC have therefore rendered Abga's Wednesday governorship primary an exercise in fertility as the use of invalid delegate lists will exclude the party from the election. Meanwhile, the Judo KK led Abga has accused suspended Oye of deliberate refusal to submit 21 days notice for his faction to the commission after allegedly collecting $2 million. Oye was further accused of sealing a senatorial ticket deal with those described as enemies of the party with a promise to help use technicalities to exclude Abga from the ballot. The publicity secretary of the UKK faction told newsmen that the faction remains the only option and hope for Abga to have a candidate in Anambara since he duly submitted all the notices. Uluwa Tobiani reporting for Viable TV.